All right, guys. Ooh, okay, we got a text. But yeah, we're back as Michael. Last time, I said I was going to go to Lester, and obviously I did something else. I didn't really know what to do. I'm still having trouble, like, understanding these uh, missions and where you're supposed to go. Because it's not, like, totally obvious. But, I don't know. Hold on. Let's... <laughs> I guess I should probably put a waypoint going towards the L. I'm guessing that's for Lester? So... See, there's Franklin, and I guess when it's when it's blue, it's something that Michael does. When it's green, it's something that Franklin does, and it switches characters for you. So let's go ahead and get to Lester. All right, guys, I think we're here. Um, this is so weird. I don't understand. He's like in the middle of of a block, like. Thing. I guess let's just... Oops, wrong button. But yeah, if you run towards it, I think usually your car ends up by you anyway, so I don't really mind. And I don't think people steal your car. Wrong place? Yeah? Okay. I saw a camera. There's just, like, a camera looking at me. It's the weirdest thing. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> All right. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an iFind alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> well, okay then. Something is very, very wrong with Lester. Alright. So I think we can get back to our car if we just go back to where we were. And then we'll get to... I think it said to go to a suburban clothing store? Not exactly sure, to be totally honest. Where exactly did I park the car? Alright, let's go to the clothing store. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I wasn't sure that I was gonna do it, like I've already said, but 
I figured if I'm gonna play the game, I might as well just record myself playing it. So, I don't know, I'm, I might take my time with it, but at the same time, I do kind of want to finish this quickly. Because there's other stuff coming out, and I am ready to play it. I think by this time, you guys will have already seen uh, the Life is Strange game that I've started to play. And it's kind of like Telltale's games, where it's like a story, and you just kind of choose what you want to happen. And, I don't know. At the time that I'm recording this, not many people that I know of know of that game, so... Alright guys, just got here. Let's go ahead and get out. Leave the car there. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Okay. A vest and some cargo shorts. <laughs> that doesn't sound very appealing. But let's go ahead and browse shirts. Come on, buddy. A vest and some cargo shorts. See, a vest. That sounds so weird. I feel like that would be geeky. I mean, not geeky geeky, but... Enough. Okay, let's go ahead. I'll do this. Tragic. But they'll do. Alright, sorry when that pops up. It just kind of does. Can't really help it. Okay, so where do I get the vest from? I would guess... Is it, is it this? No, those are shorts. Okay. Hoodies. Shirts. A vest isn't a shirt, is it? I'll grab right here. Is that something? Is that what she means by a vest? I'll do this. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Oh, <laughs> he's so sweet. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's get to the Life Invaders offices. Let's go. Let's go, car. Why aren't you moving? Jeez, Louise, I don't know what was going on. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. So does anyone actually live in LA? Is this like a good representation of what it looks like? Or, I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say that it's pretty much a map of Los Angeles and they know where things are, which is pretty crazy. All right, so we're gonna go to the rear entrance. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. 
I, I T-Temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Is it weird that I knew what he was talking about? He really wasn't talking about much, but... I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Wonder where we're going. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been at it on this PC. Um... Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Okay. You want so a massage? There's... Cause my hands are free. <laughs> These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? Give me a second, will ya? And we scan. There it goes. This is a little you take um... a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. Bad. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. All right, so let's go rig the prototype. I'm not sure exactly what YouTube's rules are on things like that, so not sure if I'm gonna leave it in or not. Let's go. I don't know why we didn't bring our backpack with us. When we go mobile, we'll be able to track making history, movement. dude. We'll hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bag, dig bag. Ow. Do I need to be running, or am I good? Okay, follow me. Okay. Some a hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Watch the keynote at Michael's house. All right, so where exactly did I park my car? Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Doomed! I doomed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. All right. So, sorry, I just wanted to, uh, wait to drive until that phone call is over, because you know my driving. <laughs> Do you see the way I parked? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Let's go in. We're dressed like a freaking dork. Oh my god, you guys are so lame! 
out. No! I'm watching You're Famer Shame! Her fucking tits! No! Give me that mom! You guys are going to the finals! Mom's on fire! All right. Let's change the channel. Please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! I don't know if I'm supposed to call him. I don't know how. Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> the Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're the <clears throat> oh, Hold on a second. Fuck you. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! God! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That was pretty horrible. Friend request. Okay. Well, I don't understand why I keep getting bronze. Like, I think I did pretty good.